Alright, welcome back to my Assassin's Creed Odyssey, The Fate of Atlantis walkthrough. This is episode 2, Torment of Hades, part 7. Yeah, uh, we did start uh, a new questline with the ferryman Karen, Karon, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, um, in the previous video, by the end of it. Um, the first half of the previous video was, you know, Brasidas story, this, yeah, the Brasidas storyline, so yeah, I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to check that out, but anyways, let's continue, here's Karen, let's talk to him and see what happens. I'm ready to help another of your lost dead. My, my, aren't you a productive little fleshling, hmm? Tell me, how did things go with the Athenian? Athens meant everything to him. I spared him the truth. You brought comfort to a troubled soul. I couldn't tell him the plague destroyed everything he loved. Ah, the plague. Busy times. So busy, I lost someone. A woman whose family couldn't bear to bend the body. So she stuck down here. She now wanders the halls of the passage of souls, still sick with plague. The Thanados pyre can purify the dead. But the only way she'd survive the ordeal is by consuming an asphodel flower. An asphodel flower? My little fleshling is in luck. Due to all the chaos you caused, there is a breach between the underworld and Elysium. You might find a flower there. What makes this asphodel flower so special? Everything from Elysium, that sickeningly perfect paradise, has some kind of boon. I'll get the flower and make sure she reaches the pyre. Be careful out there. Something as rare as an asphodel flower in this place will surely draw a great deal of attention. Okay. Um. Oh, we need to climb. Okay. Um. You know what? Let me just take a look. Yeah, it's not that far, but the climbing could be a bit annoying. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys up there, I guess. Or at least halfway. <laughs> I don't know. Give me two seconds and I'll be right back, alright? Okay, we are just about to reach the top here. So, let's find this flower and uh, bring it to... Well, the... The woman with the plague, I guess. Oh, hold on. There we go. Is there another one? Ah, yeah. Nice. Alright. Where is this flower? Oh yeah, it looks kind of like Elysium here. Oh, there's the flower. Awesome. Here we go. Testicles! Ah, it's nice to see you in one piece. Mistyos! Yes, I like it. Nothing trying to eat testicles. What are you doing here? Came looking for a magic flower. Sounded so pretty. Wanted pretty flower oil. Have you seen it? I have the asphodel flower. I needed to save someone who's sick. But I need the flower, Mistyos. I came all this way to get it. And I will. <laughs> No flower for testicles. Oh, <laughs> alright, testicles. I did not see that happening. Alright. <laughs> that was actually a fun surprise. He did meet, uh, well, a kind of funny fate since he did get eaten by sharks. Um, yeah, on the way to the Olympic Games. Anyways, uh, let's see. We got the flower now, let's go... Oh, it's a bit far. Yeah, um, I'll see you guys there, alright? Okay, here we are. Let's talk to this woman. So apparently she died in Athens by the plague. So let's see if we can help her. Please stay back, I'm very sick. I've been sent to help you get better. Nothing can cure me. Even here, I'm cursed by this plague. 
Do you remember anything of your life before? I used to bake the best smelling bread. It's all like a dream that I can't quite see or touch. How did you get here? I remember being in my bed. I was sick. Everything went dark. Then I was by a river surrounded by people waiting to cross. Here, eat this flower. It will help you feel strong. I feel different. I feel better. But the plague is still with me. I will take you to a place where you can feel better. There is a fire that will cleanse you. A fire? Uh, are you sure it will help me? Won't it hurt? The flower you ate will protect you. If this is the only way, then I suppose I have to try. Uh, okay. Um... Ah, uh, yeah, I guess we'll... I don't think I've been up here before. Protect the... Okay, the lost woman can die. Alright. Okay, let's take care of the guards then. There we go. So that's a new thing. That, you know, they can die. Huh, alright. Uh, shall we use Phobos to get there faster, perhaps? Could it... Maybe there are more enemies, I don't know. There we go. Ella. Of course there are. All right. Uh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Come on, lady. Let's go. Blue fire. Hopefully this will work, you know, and she can... Travel to Elysium? Hopefully? I mean, dying by the plague, I don't see a reason why she should be in the underworld. You know? Alright, uh, that should probably be... yeah, quest completed. Awesome. Let's see... Yep, yeah, we got a new one. Here we go. Talk to Karen. Alright, um, he seems to be a bit far away. Yeah. So, as always, I think I'll see you guys there, alright? So, give me two seconds and I'll be right back. Alright, here we are. Um, I'm surprised that it isn't by, you know, his boat. But okay. Let's see what he wants. I brought the woman to the pyre. <sighs> I like having an assistant. If only you were dead, you could stay forever. Unfortunately, not my plan. Such is life. And death. On to the next lost souls. A family devastated by war wanders without refuge. I know how it feels to lose a home. Yes, you all have sad stories to tell. At least most who come here are dead now. I think I would still be sad if I was dead. The suffering you fleshlings inflict on each other never ceases to astound me. And that's why we are helping all the lost we can. You're right. They deserve to have somewhere safe to stay. 
Okay. Let's see. Talk to the lost family in the village of the condemned. Okay. Oh, well. Um, let's see. I guess I'll see you guys there again, you know. <laughs> yeah, be right back. Alright, uh, we are at least a bit closer. Uh, let's see. The family should be around here somewhere. There we go. Please don't hurt us. Leave us alone. Stay back. I know how to fight. I'm not here to hurt you. Then what do you want? I've come to take you away from this place. Take you somewhere safe. Why would you help us? Um, yeah, let's go with uh, I was asked to help you. I was you. asked to find you and take you to safety. We have no friends here. Only each other. But the hounds are drawing close, so what choice do we have? There has to be somewhere nearby where you'd be safe. There's a cave not too far from here that could provide some shelter. It didn't look very inviting, but it's better than here. Anywhere else? There was also an abandoned camp. It would be ideal if not for all the strange creatures in the area. It could be dangerous. Okay, uh, I think I'll take them to the, camp. to the camp. Stay close. Yeah. All right. This way. Here we go. Come on. Follow me, please. The lost family members can die, of course. Yeah, let's try to, st you know, keep them alive. Don't really want them to lose each other. Oh wow, a hound already. Okay, um, are they coming? Yeah, good. Alright. Let's just ignore the hounds on the way. Hopefully we'll survive this. Come on. Okay. There's the camp. Let's take care of this. Alright. Um, oh yeah. Make sure to leave a like on this video, guys. And subscribe, of course, if you're new to this channel. I upload every single day. You know, as always. So we're currently playing the Assassin's Creed Odyssey, The Fate of Atlantis. And this is episode 2. Fate of Atlantis is three different episodes, so yeah. We're closing into the ending of episode 2, Torment of Hades. I don't think we have that much left, to be honest. Whoa, come on. There we go, one more. Nice, okay. Oh, quest completed. Awesome. Do we have one more quest, perhaps? With the Caron. Death Light Robbery. Okay. So where is this quest? Of course. Uh, yeah. I'll guess I'll... Yeah, I'll see you guys there. That's a bit far, to be honest. So yeah, give me two seconds, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're here. Wow, here's a crowd, okay? What's going on here? A disaster! Can't I just have a normal day of ferrying the dead? Tell me what happened. All of these souls have had their coins stolen. Assistant, you have to find the thief and get the coins back so the dead can cross the sticks. Why don't you just let them through? Yeah, I know you're new around here, but that's not really how we do things in the underworld. Besides, Hades would burn me one toe at a time if I did. Alright, I'll find the coin thief. You hear that, everyone? My assistant will find the coin thief. Why would anyone want to rob the dead? Isn't it obvious? The coins are used to pay me for passage across the sticks into the underworld. Do you suspect anyone here already? So many pass through, and honestly, you all look the same to me. Come on, think. Well, 
There was a merchant and a politician who acted strangely. They were the only ones not storming my dock. I'll come back when I have news. I'd start looking in the Passage of Souls. It's where the first coins went missing. Good luck. With all the thieves in the underworld, I'll need it. Okay, um, let's go and see what happened, I guess. So apparently all those people have been robbed. So they can't really pass. You need the money to, you know, pay the ferryman. So let's try to solve this. Let's see. Who stole the coins from the dead? Good question. Don't tell me it's another, you know, familiar face. Would not be surprised. <laughs> but okay, we're here. What? Oh, there we go. Alright. What's this? Must have been in a hurry. A gold bracelet. But it's broken. Must have snapped when its owner was digging. Okay. Here's something as well. Empty coin purses. The strings have been cut. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, supposed to find anything in this dirty, horrible wasteland? You must be looking for your stolen coins. How do you know? Maybe you're the criminal who came to admire their handiwork. I'm looking for the thief too, but I'm Relax, dude. Come on. Attitude. I'm trying to help Fine. here. I found nothing here myself anyway. Okay, um yeah, let's ask him everything. Of course I remember. I was walking through the valley with the rest and struck up conversation with a merchant. So arrogant. Still wearing his jewels and gold. Won't do much for him here. <laughs> when I reached the docks, they were gone. Okay, sounds suspicious. Did catch your attention. The merchant I spoke to seemed nervous. He asked if we really had to pay the ferryman. Perhaps his coins were already stolen? I think I've got Yeah. I don't think his coins were stolen, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this woman. You don't look like the usual people I see passing through here. I'm not dead, if that's what you mean. I'm searching for something. Makes two of us. I'm looking for the coins I lost. Uh, they must be around here somewhere. Think of when you last had them. I remember wandering with the crowd of other people. We were all moving towards the dock. I don't remember where we came from. But as we reached this place, the crowd halted as a man, a politician I think got up and addressed us. Where were you when you realized your coins were missing? At the dock. I was going to pay the ferryman when I discovered they were gone. Did you see anything strange during your travels? Mm. Only the politician. He was moving away from the docks while everyone else was moving toward them. I have to go. Good luck in your search. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I guess the merchant is so far the number one suspect. Right, do we have anything here? Yeah. A dagger. A dagger. It's expensive. Must have been used to cut the coins out. Expensive dagger. Uh yeah, the first guy did mention that the uh, well, the merchant did have, you know, jewelry and stuff on him, so I don't know. Any news of my coins? Um, I yeah. This dagger. Remind you of anything? Aha! That's what I felt. It nicked me when they cut the strings of my purse. So did you see who did it? No, I was too focused on the politician addressing the crowd. Captivating man. I think I've got what I need. Okay, um... Yeah, let's go report back to Karon. 
So I believe the merchant did it. The politician just talked to them. I mean, the merchant did do the deed. It's kind of hard to rob people if you're just standing there talking, you know? <laughs> well, addressing the crowd. So, yeah, the merchant probably did it. So let's see, I think we'll have to choose. We did have, uh, well, something similar like this in Elysium as well, you know. So yeah, let's see. There we go. Finally. I was starting to worry you'd got lost. I didn't think your kind were capable of worrying. There are many things you don't know about us. Like how impatient we are. Have you discovered who stole the coins? So, the dead were robbed while a politician gave a speech. One witness thought he looked suspicious because he was wandering through the crowd, away from the docks. Ah, yes. Even I noticed him. But, a rich merchant was asking about paying the toll. I found a nice dagger that must have cut the coins out. And I found a gold bracelet near the hole that hid the coins. The plot thickens. It was the merchant. He stole the coins. A greedy merchant. Typical. Come, let us deal with him and be done with this. So you are the one who took the coins from these people. This is nonsense. No one should have to pay to enter the underworld. Spare me your platitudes. You stole because you're greedy. These people had nothing in life. They need nothing in death. If I can't live a comfortable life, nobody should. Hades, so nice to see you. Whatever brings you to my shore? I could hear this ruckus from the bowels of Tartarus. What is happening here? <gasps> this man stole coins from the dead and then threw them into the river Styx. Mortals always seem to find new ways to surprise me. I'm glad you're finding this funny, but these people had coins for fair passage and now they don't. If they do not have coins, they cannot cross into my realm. That is the law, Harold. They were sent here with the coins as law and tradition state. They deserve to be granted passage. Why don't we let our friend here decide their fate? These people were robbed of their chance for peace. They deserve passage. Well said, Cassandra. They will be granted passage to the underworld. And what of him? Feed him to your hounds. <laughs> I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> Sometimes we have to make difficult choices. To be able to do so confidently. Is a rare trait in your kind. I've done it before. I'll have to do it again. For such a hopeless fleshling, you've come a long way. Now that Hades is gone, there's something you should have. Thank you, Haron. It's a shame you have to go. You've been a good assistant. I hope you find the answers you seek. Okay, uh, that looks like we're done with this storyline, yeah. Alright, so we only have one quest left, so I guess we'll do that in the next video. But for now guys, I'm out. Thank you so much for watching, take care, peace, and bye.